everyone welcome back to the channel today so today we'll be learning how to make this simple ready to wear dress so if this will allow what you're interested in continue watching so this tutorial is for everyone it's for both beginner intermediate and advanced so it's a very simple and detailed tutorial if you're stopping by for the first time my name is lillian thank you so much for stopping by please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a new video thank you so much guys so without wasting much more time let's get into it so for material we are going to be working with crepe so this crepe is actually not stretchy so it's not the stretchy type of crepe so this is what i'll be making use of so get your pattern paper and then we are going to mark about two inches down just as you can see me do we are going to take that as our shoulder line so for the neckline i'm going to come down by two and a half inch as my neck depth okay so come down by two and a half inch and then for the neck width i'm going to make it four inches then after doing that i'm going to go ahead and then create my neckline so just as you can see me do and then my shoulder measurement i'm going to divide it by two which is seven so i'm going to mark seven because my shoulder is 14 divided by two is seven so for my chest line i'm marking eight inches so my should my chest line is actually seven and a half so i usually mark eight inches because i use one and a half inch as my shoulder slant so if you don't add that inches just maintain your one inch shoulder slant i am also repeating my shoulder measurement on my chest line which is seven i already marked that i'm going to connect okay so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do is to come down by one and a half inch as my shoulder slant and then i'm going to go ahead and then connect it to my neckline just as you can see me do and then i'm going to also find the midpoint by folding my tape like so and then i'm going to mark whatever i have there and then i'll go in by half inch or 0 0.5 so after doing that i'm going to connect it back to my shoulder slope so i'm going to take it back to my shoulder slope just as you can see now after doing that i'm going to go in by my rambo circumference divided by four my rambo circumference is 36 36 divided by four is nine so i'm going to mark it just as you can see me do and then i'm going to go ahead and create my armhole so after doing that i'm going to go ahead and then mark my boss points so my boss point is 10 so whatever yours is go ahead and mark it so after marking my boss point i'm going to go ahead and then create the line and then i'm going to label it out next point is to mark our shoulder to waistline or half length whatever you call it so my assistant so whatever yours is measure your shoulder to your waistline and create your waistline or your half length so i'm just going to label it as waistline or half length so whatever you call it is the same thing and the next point is to mark our waist to hip line so i'm using nine inches so remember this is actually not the standard so whatever works for you is what you're going to use so i'm going to also create my hip line and then i'll also label that out so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do is to go down by my waist to knee line so whatever you use as a waist to knee line so mine is 24 so i'm going to be coming down by 24 inches so whatever you use as a waist to knee line also go ahead and then mark it out so that's exactly what i'm doing so this is it for my knee line i'm also going to leave that out for the full length i'm going to be using six inches so from my knee line i'm going to come down by six inches so this is what i want for my full length so you can actually do whatever you want remember for me i'm using six inches because i want it to be above my knee line so hope this is clear so the next thing we are going to do is to impute our round waist circumference divided by four so mine is 28 divided by four is seven so i'm going to mark that now just as you can see me do and then i'm going to add extra 0.6 inches so you can see the tape now where that line is where that line is that is 0 0.6 so that is what i'm going to be marking because that's what i'm going to use as my waist that so i'm just replacing just one of that that so that at the end of the day i will use the remaining one to cinch my waist so hope this makes sense so the next thing i'm going to do is to divide my round hip circumference by four so my round hip i'm using 40 inches divided by four is 10 i already marked that and then i'm going to connect it back to my waistline so after doing that i'm going to come over to my knee line so for my knee line i'm going to be using my knee circumference because i want there's a way i want it to actually turn out so my knee circumference is 30 divided by four is seven and a half inch so whatever your run knee circumference is go ahead and divide it by four and then mark it on your knee line so just as you can see already mark seven and a half and then i'm going to connect it back to my hip line so after connecting to my hip line the next thing i'm going to do is to take that line down so i'm going to take it to my full length just as you can see so we are going to do is to divide our nipple to nipple measurement by two so just as you can see on the screen mine is eight eight divided by two is four so i'm going to mark that on my boss point and then mark it on my 
waistline then i'm going to come down by five inches and then i'm also going to make sure it's aligning by four inches so that i can have a straight that line and then i'm going to go ahead and then connect it so for my side that i'm going to be using one and a half inches as my side that's because my shoulder to waist at the front is 16 inches while my shoulder to waist at the back is 14 and a half inch so 16 inches minus 14 and a half i'll be left with one and a half inch so that is what i use as my side that by the zero point six we added before so that is what i'm going to be using as my waist that so i'm going to mark it on both sides of my waistline and then i'm going to go ahead and then connect it just as you can see me do you are going to do the same after doing that the next thing we are going to do is to slit our pattern paper you can see what i'm doing just slit it open and then we are going to carefully close our side that so you can see what i'm doing so carefully close your side that so when you're done closing take your tracing wheel all you need to do is to take your tracing wheel and then you are going to correct that line you can see that that line is broken so for those of us that are busty what you have there will actually be bigger than this the difference will be much whatever it is just as you can see me doing just go ahead and then mark it out like so so this is it for the front for now so we are going to head over to the back so before drafting the back pattern i'm going to mark out one and a half inch so that i will actually use this space for my zipper allowance so i'm just taking out one and a half inch from my center back pattern so this will serve as my zipper allowance for the back neckline we are still going to maintain the neck width which is four inches so we are going to do the same thing to the back so maintain the same four inches width and then for the depth i'm using one and a half inch after marking just go ahead and then create your neckline just as you can see me do just go ahead and then create your neckline so after doing that go in by your shoulder measurement divide by two so mine is 14 i already marked that divide by two is seven and then for my chest line i'm still using my eight inches which i use at the front so as you can see me do now i'm going to go ahead and then create my chest line so after doing that i'm going to label it out start labeling out i'm going to also mark my shoulder measurement divided by two which is 14 divided by 2 is 7 i already marked that i'll connect it back to my shoulder so after doing that i'm going to come down by one and a half inch as my shoulder slant just like i did at the front and then i'm going to go ahead and then connect to my neckline i'm also going to find the midpoints just as you can see by folding my tape like so and then i'm going to mark it and then go in by half inch or 0 0.5 whatever you call it so I'm also going to connect it back to my shoulder slant next thing i'm going to do is to go in by my round ball circumference divided by four which is nine i already marked that and then i'm going to go ahead and create my armhole just as you can see me do after doing that i'm going to mark my shoulder to waistline at the back which is 14 and a half inch so i'm going to mark that so my front is 16 so remember like i said before my front is still while my back is 14 and a half so the difference is what i use as my side so that sewing it off will make the whole length equal so hope this makes sense so i'm marking my 14 and a half inch now which is my shoulder to back waistline so i'm going to mark it and then i label it out so after doing that now what i'm going to do either waistline or half length whatever you call it i'm going to come down by nine inches which is my waist to hip line so whatever you use as your waist to hip line remember this nine inches is not the standard so whatever works for you is what you are going to do so i'm going to go ahead and then mark out my hip line and then label it out also after doing that the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my waist to knee line so my waist to knee line i'm making use of 24 inches whatever yours is also go ahead and then mark it out so just as you can see me doing i'm, I'm marking my 24 inches so after doing that i'm also going to create my knee line and then label it out after doing that remember at the front i came down by six inches from my knee line so i'm going to repeat the same thing at the back so i'm also going to come down by six inches just as you can see so after doing that i'm going to label it out this is it for my full length so it's the same six inches the same way we did with the front so i'm going to go in by my waist circumference divided by four which is seven and then i'm going to add my 0 0.6 remember just as you can see on the screen we need to add it because that is what we are going to use as our dart so after doing that go ahead and then connect it to your chest line just as you can see me do so for my hip line i'm going to be marking my hip circumference divided by four which is 10 because i'm using four 14 inches then i'll connect it back to my waistline after doing that what i'm going to do i'm going to go in on my knee line by my knee circumference divided by four like i said i'm using 30 inches so divided by four is seven and a half i already marked that i'll connect it back to my hip line and then take it down to 
my full length hope this makes sense next thing we are going to do is to go in by one nipple to nipple measurement divided by two so my is a divided by two is four i'm going to mark it on my waistline my chest line and then from my waistline i'm going to cut down by six inches and then maintain the four inches and then go ahead and then connect the whole three points together just as you can see so after doing that remember the 0 0.6 inches that we added we are going to take it off on our waistline as our dart on both sides and then we are also going to go ahead and then connect it together just as you can see me do when you're done come over to your waistline then go in by half inch this is actually to avoid budging when we fix our zipper so when you are done just take it up to your chest line then bring it down to your hip line just as you can see me do now so after doing that this is it i'm just going to actually curve my hip line because as you can see it's actually pointy so i need to curve it a bit so that it won't look funny after sewing so guys this is it for both front and back so i already curved that so this is it so we are going to be adding allowance so i am going to be fast forwarding this because it's just allowance so to the neckline add half inch your shoulder line half inch your arm hole half inch and then by the side you can either choose to add one inch or one and a half inch so whatever allowance you wish to add at that point is your choice and then after doing that what i'm going to do to the hemline i'm going to be adding extra two inches for my hemming so you can do whatever you want so when you are done just go ahead and cut out so just as you can see me do just cut out we are literally done with the front so this is it for the front i'm going to set it aside so when you are done come over to the back we are also going to repeat the same thing just add your half inch around the neckline the armhole and the shoulder line then by the side you add one inch and then by the hemline you are also going to go ahead and then add extra two inches just like we did at the front for hemming and then on your center back you are also going to add one inches as your zipper allowance so hope this makes sense so just as you can see now just go ahead after marking all you need to do is to go ahead and then cut out so this is it for the whole pattern so this is it so just cut out just as you can see me too so cut out so after cutting out what we are going to do now is to cut out on our fabric so this is it for both front and back so we are going to go ahead and then cut out on our fabric so i already placed the pattern on my fabric so this is the front it's actually on fold so i'm going to cut out we don't need to add any other allowance because we already have all the necessary allowance on the pattern so i'm just going to cut out just as you can see me do go ahead and then carefully cut out so this is it so after cutting out i'm going to pierce through all the dart points just as you can see this is actually for me to transfer the dart to the main piece so after doing that i'm just going to go ahead and then repeat the same thing on this other side so i'm going to also mark out my side that just as you can see me too and then i'm going to do the same thing to the other side remember this pattern is actually remember the fabric is on fold so i need to do the same thing to the other side so after i'm doing that i'm just going to take my ruler and then connect the whole points together as just as you can see me too now if you find this method difficult you can as well do yours however you are used to so this is it so i'm going to cut out the back piece so for the back piece i'm just going to cut that it's also on fold because i want to cut that two piece at the go so we don't need to add any other allowance or anything because every allowance that we need is already on the pattern so just as you can see me too also go ahead and then cut out so after cutting out just the same way we did with the front we are also going to pierce through our dad so after piercing through just go ahead and then mark it out on the fabric so hope this makes sense so it's just repetition of what we did at the front or the front piece so that's the same thing we are doing with the back pattern so guys this is it for the whole piece so this is it for the back and then this is it for the front so what we are going to do now we are going to go over to our machine and then sew off our side that and then the waist that do the same thing with the back pattern so i will do that and bring it back okay, guys welcome back so this is it i'm done sewing off my waist that for both back piece and then also for the center front so just as you can see i actually came down by one inch on both sides because i don't want it to be at exact my boss point so you can see the space there so what i'm going to do now i'm going to join it side by side so i'm going to be joining the back piece to the front piece just as you can see and then we'll do the same thing to the other side so what we are going to do we are going to sew 
on the shoulder line by half inch so at the shoulder line sew by half inch and then do the same thing to the other side then by the side we are going to sew by one inch or sew by whatever inches you added so i will do that and then i'll bring it back so guys welcome back so this is it so i am done joining just like i instructed so i joined by the side by one inch just like i i instructed also i already done that so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead and then fix my zipper okay so i'm going to go ahead and fix my zipper so i will do just that and then i'll bring it back so guys welcome back so this is it so i already fixed my zipper so this is my slit and then this is it for the zipper so this is it just like i instructed i already fixed mine so what we are going to do we are going to take the circumference of our round neckline so just watch carefully from this end we are going to measure to the other end so watch carefully to actually see how i'm taking this circumference so that when we draft everything will actually sit well so guys please we are going to repeat this process okay so repeat it as many times as possible until you are very sure of the inches that you are getting so you can see what i'm doing now i'm actually repeating the same process so as you measure the first one Measure the second time, if possible, the third time. So this is just for us to get the accurate round neck circumference. So repeat it as many times as possible. So this is 20 and a half inch. So get a pattern paper, just as you can see. So this is 20 and a half inch. I'm making use of 20 and a half inch. So I'm going to divide that by two. Okay, so my round neckline is 20 and a half inch. I already folded the pattern into two, just as you can see. So remember, 20 and a half inch is what I have as my round neckline. So I'm going to divide that by two by folding my tape into two. So just as you can see, remember my pattern is on fold. So I'm going to mark down 20 and a half divided by two. So I already folded my pattern, so I'm just going to mark it. I, al I actually already have that line, so I'm just going to mark it. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring in my dress. So I'm going to take the measurement of my shoulder to the back, to the zipper part. So you can see from my shoulder to the zipper, to the end of the zipper at the back so that is the measurement i'm taking so that is actually four and a half as you can see so i'm going to measure it from the edge of my paper remember i'm measuring from the folded part so i'm going to go ahead and then mark the four and a half inch so do the same whatever yours is mark it so after marking i'm going to go up by 1.25 so as you can see on the screen so i'm going to go ahead and then mark that 1.25 and then i'm going to connect it to the other four and a half inch so guys please watch how i place my curve ruler is actually very important so after connecting just as you can see i'm going to go up by two inches because that is what i want to use as my bandwidth so i'm going to go up by two inches so guys watch carefully how i am marking it i'm taking it through that line that i already connects before just as you can see so i'm going to mark that and then i'll use my free hand to connect it together we already have your own neckline also fold your tape into two by your own neckline so we are going to measure okay so from the down you can see how i place my curve ruler my tape rule sorry so i'm going to measure now 20 and a half inch remember the tape is on fold so i'm going to repeat this so repeat this as many times as possible because once we cut out there is nothing you can do anymore so just try to repeat the same thing to make sure that it's very very correct so you can see what i'm doing i'm trying to actually repeat it marking the 20 and a half inch remember my tape is still on fold so this is it so what i'm going to do i'm going to take it up from that point just take it up so guys please watch my ruler placement also it's very very important so i'm going to connect so this is it now all i'm going to do is to label this side as the front and then the folded part as the back so i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side and then i'm going to go ahead and cut out so please take note the folded parts i label the folded part as the back while the side that is not on fold as the front so hope this makes sense so go ahead and do the same so after cutting the parts that will label as the back i'm going to slit it open so watch carefully i'm going to slit it open and then i will turn the other side and mark as the front together facing each other just as you can see and then i'm going to tape it down so don't overlap it just tape it don't overlap it please 
just tape it down don't overlap it so we are going to cut that on our fabric so first of all we are going to be adding half inch so i'm actually using pencil because i don't want it to be excess i don't want chalk to give me excess um allowance so that is why i'm using pencil so you might actually not see it but what i'm adding is 0 0.5 inch that is half inch so that is actually what i'm adding so we are going to add it round so do where to do the same just add it round just as you can see me do fabric is actually on fold because i want to cut that to piece that it go so go ahead and add your allowance and then cut out just as you can see me do so guys this is it so i'm going to go ahead and then interface it with this stay so i'll go ahead and do that and bring it back so guys this is it i'm done adding my stay so we are going to be joining this so i'm going to be adding this hook for my button and then at that point i'm going to sew by half inch and then at the top i'm also going to sew by half inch and then do the same thing by the side so i'll do that and bring it back welcome back guys so this is it so i'm done joining just as you can see i trim off the excesses and then iron out so this is it so what we are going to do now i'm going to open my zipper so we are going to be joining from the back so we are joining from the wrong side so place it as exactly where your zipper stop just as you can see and then we are going to pin this down so that we can actually join by half inch please guys watch carefully i am pinning from the wrong side i am pinning from the wrong side of my dress so hope you can see what i'm doing so i'm pinning from the wrong side so you are going to do the same so i'm just going to go ahead and pin around so after pinning i'll go to the other side and start from there so you can see how i actually folded my zip in so i'm going to also place this edge at exact where my zipper stops also as you can see and then i'm going to pin down so after doing that on both edge all you need to do is to pin whatever you have left around your neckline so hope this is clear so just watch carefully so that you understand what i'm doing so like i said we are pinning from the wrong side so this is it just as you can see after pinning all you need to do is to go over to your machine and then just join by half inch okay so hope this makes sense just so run by half inch so i'll go ahead and do that and bring it back so guys this is it welcome back i'm actually done joining so what we are going to do now the excess that we have there we are going to trim it off so hope you can see this so the excess that we have both the zipper excess we are going to trim everything off so you need to be careful so that you don't end up cutting your main piece so just carefully trim it down so that that point will be very flat so that it will lay where by the time we turn the other one on it so hope this makes sense so just carefully trim off this is it so we are done trimming this is it so the other half inch you have left on the other side i already iron it in just as you can see so i iron in the half inch so what we are going to do now is to just top stitch okay iron in the other half inch on the other side and then top stitch okay so just carefully top stitches make sure you make your stitch neat so i'll do that and bring it back so guys welcome back so this is it i am done top stitching just as you can see okay so i just top stitch very small by 0 0.1 so just make it neat and then i have a piece here so this is actually a width of 14 and a half inches just as you can see and then for the length the length is actually full tape length so just as you can see it's full tip so i already I already hem each of the edges just as you can see so what we are going to do we are going to use this to actually style it so one side will be on the waistline while the other one will be at the hip line so you can actually do this to the left and right so whichever side you want is your choice so how long how much you want it to drop down is also your choice so you can actually fit it on yourself to know how best to actually fit this so i'll do that and bring it back guys just as you can see so i actually change the direction so i move the waist side to this other side and then the hip to this other side so that was why i said you should fit it on yourself to know how best to place it so for stitching we are going to stitch exactly on the same allowance top stitch top stitch exactly on the same just as you can see so like i said make sure you fit this on yourself to know how best to actually fit it remember we added two inches to the hem so what we are going to do I already mark that out and then to my slit side i also mark out two inches just as you can see so this is the two inches and then to the slit side so mark out two inches so what we are going to do we are going to fold in the two inches so watch carefully so all you need to do now is to fold in the two inches so just fold it in and then i'm going to pin it down just as you can see so i'm going to pin it down 
and then i'm going to also fold in these two inches of the slit side and then i'm also going to mark it so watch carefully what i'm doing i'm going to also fold that two inches in and then i'm going to mark it at the end there so i'm going to mark where my two inches stop i'm marking it on both the other folded end so just as you can see so i'm going to open it up and then what i'm going to do i'm going to take my ruler and then i'm going to rule it when i folded it i actually marked the end point so that is what i'm connecting together so we are going to go ahead and then join this just as i folded it now we are going to go ahead and stitch that point so i'm going to mark it on the wrong side also so that we'll see it by the time we are stitching so i'm just going to go ahead and then mark it on the wrong side since that is the side we are going to be joining so i'm just going to roll the same thing so exactly the same thing on the right side i transferred it to the wrong side so we are going to fold now and then we are going to stitch so i will do the same thing to the other side and then i'll bring it back guys welcome back this is it so i am done joining just as you can see so i'm going to cut out the excess so that excess that we have there uh, we are going to cut it out because we won't be needing it so just cut it off and then do the same thing here so after cutting it off all you need to do is to turn it out okay so turn everything inward turn it out and then do the same thing to the other side just go ahead and then turn it out just as you can see so guys if you have means to actually overlock it all you need to do is to overlock it then after overlocking then before you will hem with hemming gum so that you have a very neat finished look so just go ahead and then hem it with hemming gum you can as well choose to top stitch after hemming so it's your choice so for the sleeve you are going to decide whatever you want to do with the sleeve this is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching i will share the finished look with us so guys here comes the finished look so if you find my video helpful please like comment share if you are stopping by for the first time thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to click the subscribe button thank you so much i will see you in my next video Bye bye